Well, <clears throat> greetings once again from Astro Playground. This is Scott. Today I want to talk to you about a um, wonderful uh, subsystem that's built into our regular astronomy uh, applications, and that being uh, the system of guiding, uh, specifically PhD2. Um, arguably, this is uh, one of the most um, used and coveted guiding software applications for astrophotography right now. Um, most people uh, use this, uh, and it is it is quite uh, frankly uh, one of the best guiding um, software uh, applications available. So when I was using uh, PhD2 previously, um, this you know I, I would set it up and hit go, and it would attempt to calibrate. All right, that uh, you know it, it would come back to me you know oftentimes with a, a messaging error, right? And that messaging error you know would say that this part of the sky is not um, suitable and, and it would, uh, you know, the, the unusable aspect of it, right? That the, the calibration, that it would more than likely it would be off, you know, or unusable, right? And it would attempt to calibrate. Um, and in doing so, you know, you, you would fight with it back and forth. And, and eventually you'd have to go to something like Stellarium, you know, or another, uh, astronomical uh, site, you know, and, and find an area of the, of the, the sky, slew to it, uh, attempt to do it again, see if it would calibrate, um, and go back and forth. You'd fight with it, right? and it, it could be, you know, kind of tedious. Um, so the new calibration system adds uh, a feature that automatically chooses the best portion of the sky, right? So you can tell this new feature to uh, go to you know to, to run this particular application it will hunt for you know the um, an area of the sky and it will calibrate for it. It, you it, it removes all of the hunting basically from you takes it right away which is nice right it, it picks the best point you know in the calibration and, and it will run that routine and optimize your guiding I mean who doesn't love that right so we'll go through the the steps uh, to get this set up and installed so that both you and I, you know, we can take advantage of this amazing new feature in PHD2. <clears throat> Here we have um, the Open PHD2 guiding homepage. And from here, if you navigate over to downloads, um, and you know, just this is also a, uh, an excellent you know, resource page here to bring you up to speed as to all things that are new with PhD2. Um, and uh, it, it's definitely worth, you know, stopping by and just bringing yourself current on the, the latest news. Um, but for this purpose, we're going to just go over here to download. And there are several different things that you that pop out at you right away. Resist the urge to go for these green buttons right away. Um, what you want is right up here. It's kind of obscure, uh, but this is what you want right here. All right, and if you click on that, it's going to take you to the latest um, dev file. So this is version 2.6.13 dev 7. All right, that's the one that you want right there. Uh, so if you go over, you know, choose your operating system, right? Um, and for the Eagle, of course, it's, you know, the Windows download EXE. You go ahead and download that um, and you will then uh, come over to this part. Here to Nina, which I have pulled up, uh, go into our Equipments tab and down here to the Guider. Uh, go ahead and make sure that you have PHD2 selected if it's not auto selected and powered on. That will pull this up now. It's obviously daytime here, so we're, we're not going to get anything as far as the camera is concerned, so just static. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Um, if we come over here to Tools and down here to Calibration Assistant, it will open up this window here. So <clears throat> from here, um, you want th this, th for the most part, this setting right here, these settings right here are pretty good. You can custom, uh, you know, fit these settings for your uh, particular area um, and set up. Uh, but for the most part, this is pretty good. And you, it gives you a description, callouts, 
uh, for what the, the different um, calibration locations, uh, the requirements, the recommended parameters. All right. Um, once you have that, uh, and of course you can save and load those values, right? Um, you basically just come down here, hit the slew button. Uh, the telescope will move to a uh, chosen position um, from the calibration assistant. Uh, once it's, it's settled, you go ahead and hit calibrate. Uh, it'll run through that uh, and you should be good to go. You cancel it out, uh, go ahead and uh, go back over to your uh, if you come back over here to your guider, go back over to Sky Atlas, choose the, the target that you were, uh, that you were centering on or cho chosen or your, um, uh, for that matter, the, um, uh, the, the imaging that you have set up, the, the sequence that you have set up for that night. Uh, go ahead and slew and center on your target, plate solve, and you should be good to go. Uh, guiding should be, uh, at that point, um, uh, up and running. So there you have it. PhD 2 auto calibration um, should definitely fix some of the issues that you've been having or that probably all of us have been having. If you are using PhD 2 and uh, with the auto calibration and you have tips or tricks, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I read all of my comments and respond um, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it as it relates to um, your experience with uh, the auto calibration. Um, in the meantime, if you like this content and you'd like to see more videos like this, which, um, please feel free to subscribe and uh, like this, uh, this particular video, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot um, as uh, we're moving forward and growing the channel uh, and growing the, the community um, that uh, uh, the goals for um, uh, membership are uh, always in front of us. Um, if this content, again, is inspiring to you, look for more coming from us. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider giving, uh, giving us a thumbs up, um, uh, you know, a like on our channel. Uh, and if you like this content, um, consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, we will ha be having more and more um, relevant content to not only our imaging train, um, our imaging sessions uh, and setups, uh, but also uh, future reviews on products, um, talking about uh, existing software setups, um, things that we're learning about, um, uh, experienced. Um, we're going to be adding more and more content to the channel. Uh, so please look for that um, and in doing so hit that notification bell that will ensure that uh, when we do put a new video up uh, that you'll see it uh, as soon as possible. Um, in the meantime, for those of you that are out there, I wish you clear skies uh, as you keep looking up and always remember, keep imaging, keep educating and clear skies. From all of us here at Astro Playground, have a wonderful afternoon. Bye for now.